Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Sunday Mass on Sunday 7th April 2024. Divine Mercy Sunday 2nd Sunday of Easter. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus said you believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are now on the second week of Easter Sunday. In his first appearance to them, Jesus filled his disciples with the gifts of his presence and peace. The call to participate in his mission and the Holy Spirit, with these gifts, he not only strengthened their faith, but also increase their joy and empower them in their struggles against discouragement and sin. This gift were meant not only for the disciple in the upper room, but for all believers. They are for all of us today if we open our hearts in faith to the risen one and greet him in the words of the converted Thomas, my Lord and my God. Today, we celebrate the Feast of Jesus, King of Divine Mercy. This consoling devotion is centered on Christ's merciful love for sinners. We all need this devotion because we all need to experience Christ's forgiveness and compassion. Likewise, we all have the duty to become instruments of His mercy to our neighbor, in this Eucharist, let us ask for the grace to be merciful. Please all stand. This Mass is offered for the souls of Mr. Romeo Pareñas and for the 18th death anniversary of Guillermina, Guillermina Anonuevo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory and honor to Jesus, King of Divine Mercy, 
May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, in the presence of Jesus, King of divine mercy, let us renew the awareness of our many shortcomings and our need to be purified through His forgiveness. Lord of divine mercy, you call us to be, one, to be of one heart and one mind in our communities and families. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. King of mercy, you expect us all to bear witness to your resurrection in our daily life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Merciful and loving Lord, you continually invite us to be signs and instruments of your love. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on Lord, earth, peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore, we adore you, we, we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lord God Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrences of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of your people, you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Toward Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them. For those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard-pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God. When we love God and obey his commandments, for the love of God is this, that we keep this, his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God can curse the world, and the victory that can curse the world is our faith who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who come through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors, when, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for the fear, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, who since you, for you forgive, are forgiven them. And whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails of his hand, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good evening to our dear brothers and sisters in Christ who are here. And for those who are our parents, our friends, our benefactors, our Brisconians, alumni, and for those who are following us, in tonight's live stream mass. We have a saying, to see is to believe. 
in Tagalog, pakita mo muna sa akin bago ako maniniwala. Alam natin nung bata tayo, when we were still growing up, ang usual na laruan or laruan ng mga bata o kabataan ay payabangan. ba? Diba? Alam natin yan, once upon a time, ang jokes ay tungkol sa lolo. Ang lolo ko galito. Then, another lolo will be very uh, much greater than the first lolo. And the usual, tawag dito, pan, uh, punching line ay yung lolong pangatlo palagi. Siya ang palaging the best. ba? Diba? At usually, ganun. Pag bata tayo, tayo ay ang laro ng payabangan. Papayabang tayo, pero ang sasabihin ng mga kasama natin, sige nga, pakita mo. Sige nga, uh, para makita mo nga, pakita mo nga yan, meron ka ba niyan, dalhin mo nga sa school bukas. ba? Diba? Alam natin yan. And for them to believe you, you have to produce the evidence. You have to produce the thing that you are convinced that is true. ba? Diba? Tatanda ko pa nung bata ako, sasabihin nung isang kaklasiko, alam mo ba, marami kaming kotse. Ay, talaga? At sasabihin niya, meron kaming Mercedes, Mitsubishi, at ganun. Tatanda ko yung kaklasin kong yun. And eventually, one day, nung pauwi na kami sa Don Bosco, Makati, naka-service po kami nun. Yung service namin, yung piera. Tapos nakita ko siya, ayun, sinusundo ng jeep. ba? Diba? Hindi ka maniniwala. Kaya nung sinabi niya, anong jeep? Yung maliit na jeep. Yung parang saraw. Ang saraw ba tawag doon? Ay, yung owner. Owner na jeep. Wow! Kaya nung pagdating niya kinabukasan, wow, ang ganda naman ng Mercedes-Benz nyo. Stainless steel. Kawawa siya sa asaran sa mga kaklase. Bakit? Sabi mo, galito pero hindi pala. To see is to believe. I believe this is the main, uh, what you call this one, um, principle in life of Thomas. He was kind of like, the pessimistic person from the set of the apostles. From, di ba, merong mga usual cartoons na nakikita natin sa newspaper. Pag isang tao, isang character, pag siya ay negative, ano, or nega, ang tawag nila, ay usually kulay gray siya or kaya yung character na yun, yung cartoon character na yun, meron siya usually ulam or yung may ulap, tapos may parang umuulan, ibig sabihin, yung karakter na yun, nega, or masyadong pessimistic sa buhay. And they would say that Thomas more or less is pessimistic in his outlook in life. As what Jesus was telling from the different scriptures, it's always Didymus or Thomas, si Didymus at si Thomas ay iisa po. And why Didymus? Didymus is another term for a twin. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng etymological meaning ng pangalan na Didymus. And twin, bakit father? Most probably, scholars would say that he has a twin, si Didymus. They would say, sabi ng iba, other scholars would say, it is Matthew. But others would say, he has another twin. Pero kung apostle ba, disciple ba, hindi. But he is called usually Didymus the twin, ang sinasabi. And eventually, Didymus or Thomas was not convinced when all of his disciples, all of the apostles saw Jesus. We have heard from the gospel. Jesus appeared to the seven, the uh, ten na lang, namatay kasi yung isa. The ten, na wala na si Judas. So, yung ten, nasa loob sila ng uh, upper room. Bakit sila nasa upper room? Kasi nagtatago sila. They were afraid because of sila ang susunod na target ng mga Roman soldiers. Bakit, Father? At that time, siguro, kaya hindi pa sila mahanap kasi wala pang social media. Kasi kung may social media na yun, napicturan na sila. Paano sila pwedeng mapicturan? Eh, syempre, remember, what happened Palm Sunday, di ba? Meron silang grand entrance sa Jerusalem. Most probably, kilala silang lahat. 
Alam nila yung isa na wala na. Yung mga high priests, they knew that most probably Judas was dead. So they were hunting for the 11 followers of Christ. At kaya sila nagtatago doon sa upper room. And eventually, what had happened? Lo and behold, Jesus appeared to them saying, Peace be with you. For the apostles at that time, I believe they were really afraid. They said, they, some would say, sabi nila, para silang nakakita ng multo. Diba? Isang tao, nakita mo, namatay, pinako sa krus, pinahirapan. Lahat siguro ng dugo, nakita nila, lumabas sa katawan ni Kristo. Yun ang pagkakaalam nila. Why? Kasi merong isang witness na nandun. Remember, yung ibang apostoles, nagtago na. Wala na sila doon sa ka crucifixion site. Remember, try to look at the scriptures. Na wala na sila, nagtaguan na. Most probably, they were looking from afar or they were already hiding. It was only John who was there at the foot of the cross with Mama Mary. Diba? Try to remember. So it was only John and most probably, si John ang nagbalita sa mga kasama niya Papano namatay si Kristo? No other source. Or it could be Mary. Pero for sure, for a mother to recount and retell that story, it's so painful for her. So, by process of elimination, we try to use our logic. Uh, siguro, hindi pwede si Mama Mary. Masakit pa sa loob niya. Most probably, ang nagbalita, nung balita, kung anong nangyari, kay Kristo ay si San Juan or Saint John. That's why they were already there in the upper room nagtatago. And lo and behold, Jesus appeared to them. Buhay. Nagsasalita. Tiguro nung nakita nila, tinitingnan nila, tunay ba to? Baka multo yan. Diba? And most probably, without any more the other supplying uh, information, I believe they were able, kasi lahat sila, the ten of them, they were convinced that Jesus is alive. Hindi siya ghost, hindi siya spirit, but He is alive. And, lo and behold, siguro nawawala si Thomas. Bakit kaya nawawala? Most probably, he went out. Most probably, he went to his own house. Most probably, di ba, pag down ka, Ikaw ay gusto mong mag-isa. He cannot accept the reality that maybe for him, he was betrayed. Why? Because sabi ni, alam, sabi ni Cristo, I am the Christ, the Messiah. Ito na yung tagapigligtas natin. Tagapagligtas, eh namatay? Paano na? Nasayang lahat ng paniniwala ko sa Kanya. Nasayang ang oras ko sa, sa Kanya. Most probably, those were the questions that were running in the mind of St. Thomas. Kaya siguro, hindi niya kasama yung mga apostoles. Kaya one time siguro, na himasmasan siya, or I believe, siguro baka may tatanong siya, nasa kaya itong mga, mga kasama ko? Punta siya doon sa mga kabarkada niya, and lo and behold, when he went to that upper room, what happened? The apostles, the ten of them, say, was saying, Jesus is alive. At sabi ni Thomas, Papano mabubuhay yung namatay? Imposible. First and foremost, he was pessimistic. Character niya na yun. Next, for him to know, hindi, sabi ni Juan, papano siya namatay? I believe that one. No, hindi siya pat, uh, buhay. Patay si Cristo for St. Thomas. And eventually, Jesus appeared to him. Pero may bargain siya. Diba? Ano yung bargain ni Thomas? Unless I put my fingers into the marks, the nail marks, kasi dun siya pinako, in the hands of Jesus, and also in His side, then dun lang ako maniniwala. Meron pang bargain. Di ba? Dun pa lang ako mananiwala. To see is to believe. Kaya ayaw niya maniwala. When Jesus appeared, alam na ni Cristo, Thomas, hi, 
most probably ganun ang kanyang ano, peace be with you. Oh, ito yung kamay ko. Pasok mo na. Lagay mo na dito sa gilid yung kamay, daliri mo. It was only then that Thomas believed Jesus. However, Jesus was telling and very clear to our gospel today, blessed are those who have not seen but and have believed. What does it mean? What does it pertain? It pertains to no other than faith itself. Faith is something that we believe into but we just cannot see. Like our faith in Jesus, like our faith in God. Ito yung pananampalataya natin. That we believe in a risen Christ. Buhay ang Diyos natin. Yes, there will be no Easter Sunday without a good Friday. Without a good Friday. Oo, bago tayo mabuhay, bago tayo magkaroon ng Pasko ng pagkabuhay, It's a reality in life. Bago natin matam- maamtan ang ating gantimpala sa langit, dadaan tayo sa hirap ng buhay. Hindi dahil pinapahirapan tayo ng Diyos o gusto lang ng Diyos pahirapan ng tao. No. It's where in these trials of us that we put our trust and faith In God. Let us not lose our faith in this God who is full of that mercy, that divine mercy. Remember, today is Divine Mercy Sunday, telling us that we have a God who is always there, ready to forgive us. How many of us ang magsasabi sa atin, siguro naging kaaway natin, kabarkada natin, or a friend of us na nagsorry sa atin at hindi hindi natin mapatawad. Ayaw natin. It's our choice na huwag siyang papatawarin. But remember, kung ang Diyos nga nakapagpapatawad, sino pa tayo para hindi gumawa nung ganung pagpapatawad sa ating kapwa. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, let us also renew our faith in this God, this living God. God is not a concept. God is not a theory. God is not what you find in the books that you read. God is real alive and within us. This is what St. Thomas have missed because he didn't believe, because he chose to see first before believing. However, we, as an Easter people, we are asked, we are exhorted to believe even though we have not yet seen who and where or what this God is. But we know from our heart, we have a living God within us. May God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please, O stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator, creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, in and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, Son, our Lord. Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was was crucified, died, and was buried. He He descended descended into into hell, and the the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of God, the the Father Almighty. From there will come to judge the living and the dead. dead. I I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Catholic Church, Church, the the communion of saints, saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body in life, in life everlasting. everlasting. We are among those who believe in the resurrection of Jesus, even though we never put our fingers in the nail marks in his hands, nor touch his wounded side. 
Let us renew our profession of faith in the risen Christ as we address our petitions to him, O Lord and our God, hear us. Our Lord and our God, hear us, that both the universal church and each local community may always offer the edifying example of unity, sincere devotion, and care for the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord our and our God, hear us. That our ecclesial organization and institution may become factors of renewal in the church and agents of evangelization in society. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord and our God, hear us. That those who like Thomas find it difficult to believe in the resurrection may see its proofs in the life of authentic Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord and our God, hear us. That all Catholics may avail themselves of the sacrament of confession as the ordinary means to experience the power of the resurrection in their spiritual life. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord and our God, hear us. That all of us may become active promoters of the peace of the risen Christ in our families in the society. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, our God and our... Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gifts of your for the gifts of your resurrection, your presence, and the Holy Spirit. May they bring us ever closer to you and make us signs and instruments of the new life you gave us. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of him, and hence it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please, O stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, both on this day above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing thou together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please, O Neil. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, and he took bread and giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Gerardo, whom you have called from this, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the deity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command informs by divine teaching, we there to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, gracious we can peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, set your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on your sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace, please, O me. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Through the resurrection of His Son, God has redeemed you and made you His children. May He fill you with His joy. Amen. By faith, you rose with Jesus and baptized Him. May your lives be holy so that you will be united with Him forever. Amen. You have been the re recipients of Christ's merciful love. May you be effective signs of His love for all. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in the peace of God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.